Okay, so the time is around 10 something. It is December, December 27th, almost going into December 28th. And your boy is about to explore his first Middle Eastern country. I've been seeing my girlfriend, Hanilda, post a lot of content. And I'm just like, ah, I want to post content myself. It's 4.15 a.m. Time to order the Uber to the airport. Come along with me. She got the gold hoops, proud of it. I'm in love with all of it. McDonald's is closed, bro. The picture cut him out of it. I fall pretty hard, never really getting far. You make everyone look like they are not anyone. I haven't felt the thing this year. And I'm only trying to be sincere. And after taking three long and tiring flights, I finally made it to Doha, the capital city of Qatar. And in typical Dilson fashion, I already began making friends with the locals. And do you like living here? Yes. Okay, that's really good, man. Do you have more family from Bangladesh here or is it just you? Yeah, Bangladesh. Okay. Upon exiting the airport, we're greeted with a sea of these beautiful purple pillars. Looking closer, you'll actually see some Arabic writing etched into the pillar. It's not super visible in this video, so here's a clearer picture for you to see. Apparently, they're lyrics of a Qatari song, but I couldn't find which song. If you know, then let me know in the comments. So we began to make our way to the hotel. It was 1 a.m. when I arrived to the hotel, but sadly, my room wasn't ready until three. So I just hanged out in the lobby until my room was ready. Just got upgraded. I just got upgraded to a new room at the Radisson because they didn't have my room prepared. So let's see it. Dude, there's a flipping living room here. There's a flipping living room here. I am amazed. Ah, bam. Oh yeah, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. The shower. All right, there we go. All right, but listen up. This is what we're going to do. We are going to have a nice shower. We're going to have a nice shower and then collapse on the bed. I am hungry, but at this hour, there's just no way that there's food at this hour. It's like 3 in the, 3.30 in the morning. So I'm going to have to just hold out until morning. And then get some water, shower, and then collapse. See you tomorrow. It is nine forty six in the morning. We are in Qatar. I'm whispering because my roommate arrived at five in the morning. I'm still sleeping, but I wanted to have us both take a look at the view outside for the first time. Let's see how it looks like. You're gonna be seeing the view at the same time I've seen it, I'm seeing it. Or actually, I'll show you my reaction and then I'll show you the view. Okay. Three, 
two, one. <laughs> Yo, okay. <laughs> it's a pretty good view. Hold up. Okay. This is it here. And then there's this huge glass building here. And I don't know what this is. Just the roof of some other building. The area I'm in, there's like districts of hotels nearby. So it's just like tons of hotels. And then to get to the city center is like, I have to take another bus. I don't know how long it takes, maybe 15 minutes. But yeah, I don't know what I filmed yesterday. I was so exhausted. But this is the room. This is the bed. It's pretty comfortable. I'm only awake to eat breakfast. So I'm gonna change and then figure out where breakfast is because I feel like it's gonna close at a certain time. I hope it doesn't close at 10 because it's 9.49. So I'm gonna rush. See you then. I think now's a great time for me to explain why I'm here in Qatar. So big news. The reason why I'm here is, drum roll, my friends are getting married and tomorrow is their wedding. And I'm the best man alongside Jake, who's also the best man and is also my roommate. We'll come back to Jake later. Let's focus our attention on the bride and groom. Meet Sean and Christina, the groom and bride. Before I get to their wedding, I had around five hours to kill before attending their first scheduled event. So naturally, I went out to explore. This is Suk Wakif, one of the most important and busiest traditional markets in Qatar. It's been existing for over 200 years and is still thriving today in the heart of Doha. The market offered tons of goods like traditional garments, electronics, spices, jewelry, the list goes on and on. And though Qatar is known for having incredible skylines and state-of-the-art infrastructure, it's good to see that the country preserves historical markets like this, giving us a glimpse of what life was like here hundreds of years ago. What followed after this video was me getting lost for an hour trying to get back home as I had no data on my phone so I had no way to access an Uber. And boy was the city packed at night. I was also about to be late to the first event of the bride and groom, but thankfully I found this restaurant that offered free Wi-Fi and managed to find my way home. We'll come back to this restaurant later as I want to dedicate a moment for it. But for now, I had a party to attend.
At long last, the day of the wedding arrived, and there was tons of preparations and photos we had to do before heading for the ceremony at church. I didn't record much on this day, as I was really trying to stay in the present moment and celebrate my friend's wedding. I was also super nervous as I had to deliver my half of the best man speech later that night. We started the day taking photos with the groomsmen whilst the bride and bridesmaids got ready. And by the time we groomsmen completed our photo shoot, we went straight to the church to attend the ceremony. I have no videos of the ceremony, but to paint you a picture, it was a precious moment. We were inside a beautiful chapel filled with colored stained glass, allowing vibrant colors to shine throughout the building. It was truly a moment we'll all cherish forever, and I'm honored to be a part of the groomsmen, let alone to share the best man role with Jake. After the bride and groom finished sharing their vows and with God's blessing, we got to leave the ceremony with my friends leaving as husband and wife. We took a bunch of pictures and began to make our way to what could possibly be the most extravagant and beautiful venue I've ever been at. The venue was huge and beautifully decorated. There were musicians, delicious food, dances were performed. It was an unforgettable night and I can't possibly explain how fun the night was in such a short video. And after feeling super nervous and uneasy the whole day, Jake and I finally delivered the best man speech, and it was a resounding success. And with that out of the way, we were fully loose and were now prepared to dance our hearts out. Alone. Je dis les thunes, qui dit argent dit dépenses, qui dit crédit dit créance, qui dit dette te dit huissier, lui dit assis dans la merde, qui dit amour dit les gosses, dit toujours et dit divorce, qui dit proche te dit deuil car les problèmes ne viennent pas seuls, qui dit crise te dit monde, et dit famine et dit tiers monde, et qui dit fatigue dit réveil, encore sur de la veille, alors on sort pour oublier tous les problèmes, alors on danse. Alors on danse 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 Et bien encore No, we are, and that's oh, the that's the benefit. Okay. No, this is narrow. <laughs> it's gonna be more interesting. So Jake and I just went to tea time to get some chai. Jake, what do you think? It's pretty good, very sweet. Yeah? How would you describe the taste of someone who's never had chai before? Uh, I've had chai tea before. Does it resemble but anything? This, this is so much better than what I've had. Yeah, if I were to say how it tastes like, wait. It tastes like... Honey. Definitely like sugar, it's quite, it's, milk. It's quite creamy. Cream. I don't know. I don't know what that is. Combine this oh, together yo, yo, in your what? imagination. Chai. Chai. Well. <laughs> Chai. It tastes like the streets of Qatar. You know? The streets of Qatar. After walking around the market for a bit, Jake and I finally decided it was time to get some food. Jake, before you eat, explain to the camera. Just explain to me what what we ordered, man. Well, in your, your words. I can't tell you exactly what it's called, 
Um, but it's essentially like a Mediterranean pizza that we've got going on. We've got like this lovely bread. It's similar to like, it's like a, what's the word? It's like a, an, a thick pizza, but very similar to naan as well. Mm -hmm. And then you've got this lovely coating of like cheddar and a yeah. combination of like sausage and vegetables all mixed together into this like pate form. It's really, really good. That was brilliant. Well done, mate. Enjoying it here. And have some as well. That is delicious, and that's different from what we had. Different from the chai. Tea time. Enjoy, mate. All right, so quick tip time. So if you ever need some Wi-Fi whilst walking around the market, then I suggest you go to this restaurant. It's called the Masca One Restaurant and you can find it next to the Qatar police station in the market, which is close to the Golden Thumb. Just stay close to the restaurant, pick up its Wi-Fi, sign up, and boom, free Wi-Fi whilst in the market. This saved my life whilst I was walking around without any data on my phone. 40. No. <laughs> 20? Oh, man. Let me tell you what literally happened. Jake and I were just like, ah, we should do a boat ride. So like, ah, how much was it? Uh, I'd say we had max pay of 20. Immediately as we get in this area, someone comes up is like, yo, 40 for a boat ride? We're like, nah, 20? He's like, yeah, okay, cool. <laughs> Here we are. We could have gone for 10, I guarantee it. Jake, update on the situation. What are we doing right now? We are shisha thing. What flavor did we get again? We we got grape mint. I think you, you unwrapped the, the nozzle. Yes. And you, you you can be the like first a light to take puff. a hit. Nope. Nope. <laughs> it's so clear. I don't know what I'm Just doing. Just take a deepest puff. Okay. Or does that have to start bubbling? I don't know. There you go, there you go. You gotta suck even harder. There you go. Okay. Success. <laughs> After Jake and I toured around the city, we headed back home to rest and prepare for the evening because today was New Year's Eve. So tonight we'd be meeting with some friends to do the countdown and watch the fireworks together. Yes. White reflective man. Is it full of British food? Yeah, it is. Let's go. Yo, they're saying we're here. That's insane. Let's go UK. Dude, look at them, the inside, man. My time in Qatar was truly unbelievable. The hospitality, the vibrant city, the friendly faces. The wait, hold up. Is that Chuck E. Cheese? What is that doing here? Okay, okay, I digress. There's so much more footage I have to share with you, but honestly, we're already 19 minutes in and I'm getting tired of having to do so many voiceovers. I mean, just look at me. Look what I have to do to be able to record this. So yeah, part two maybe? Anyways, Qatar was a brilliant introduction to the Middle East and I couldn't have asked for a better group to have gone with me to experience it. 
Now all that was left to do was to count down to the new year. 